Welcome back to the dumbest modeling channel on all of YouTube. I'm your host, Ian, and you're at Pitstain Hobbies. Kapla! May you die with honor at your workbench. When you're very, very old, and that might be weird, your wife would be like, the hobby finally killed him. I knew it was going to happen. Either way, welcome back. Uh, today is an unboxing. You think you know what you're going to see here because th damn thumbnails give it away these days. Either way, um, uh, not that there's much chance of, well, it, it actually can happen in any video I could screw up, and you could all win a sticker. I've actually got fridge magnets now. So you could just stare at my face every time you go to have a snack, and it'll remind you to not eat as much as me. <clears throat> but let's get to business. We've got the Kronos one. We picked this up from Cult TV Man's shop. Um, he doesn't have a hobby shop. It's a warehouse, but... Um, I live very close by to his warehouse, and he allowed me to do a local pickup. I got to hang out with Steve, uh, shooting the breeze for about 10 minutes or so. He's a avid modeler and a huge fan of the hobby. He supports us heavily. He's at as many shows as he could possibly make it to. He was at Wonderfest 2023. I'm sure he'll be at 2024. Uh, he was so beat from Wonderfest, I don't think he could make it to the IPMS uh, Nationals in Texas. But either way, I gave Steve a sticker, I shook his hand, he's a really nice guy, and I bought my model from Cult TV Man Shop. This is not sponsored. Um, he's a local, family-owned business, and we need to support them. We have to. Even if it's your local Hobbytown USA, those are family-owned franchises, so support them. Um, either way, we've got this awesome new Kronos 1. Now, if you remember, I unboxed the Katinga on the channel uh, not too long ago. I've sold that. I've passed it along to another modeler who wanted to build it with his son. He was Once I heard about this, I had to have this because I wanted those damn lit nacelles. I went through all that trouble getting those 3D STL files and having them printed. And this is going to be... Well, I'm not building the Kronos one. We'll get to that. Hold on. Let's unbox the model. Let's let's check this bad boy out. Um, let's see if we can, we can find a, a handhold. There's a little tiny tear in this plastic somewhere already. There we go. Oh, 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 we've got it started. Yep, oh, we're just picking... Are there two layers? Well, there's two layers of plastic on my on my box. That uh, came out sounding funny, potentially. There we go. Ah, there we are. I'm like, what was... I don't know what that extra plastic was. Let's... Now, no one's ever going to say Polar Light's wins the award for highest quality packaging ever um boxes eh, not the not the sturdiest thing in the world but it's quite nice some features includes crappy dome base with metal support rod that may or may not be hollow fingers crossed um include uh, other languages can't read it. i can barely read english over here on this channel come on you guys know me uh, includes full color marking decals along with gold chrome service adornments and select photo etch parts. Quite nice. Um, this side, there we go. This side, bring them out of the life with authentic upgrade sets from Polar Lights. Yeah, I know, guys. I already bought it. Calm down. Calm down, upselling me. We're all mostly buying your lighting set unless we're going with like uh, tenant controls or. Trek modeler or, or somebody or, or 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 rolling our own like uh, my buddy uh, uh, Donnie at Donnie Donnie's modeling desk bench desk bench I don't know he's, look him up he's a, he's a great channel uh, Donnie does good stuff oh look at these look at these beautiful oh baby oh lit Klingon warp nacelles oh oh you're making me kapla whoo boy oh so nice um. Okay, <laughs> enough of, oof, that was getting spicy. Don't knock over the stickers, Ian. There we go. Okay, what do we got? And this is actually a nice feature, sort of, I guess, is they put, like, instructions inside the box, but it has a lot of painting recommendations, which which are awesome. I hope they're not recommending we use Model Masters anymore. Um, I hope they got the memo that they're out of business, uh, but we got lots of, look at that. That's it's pretty nice. Now this kit is basically quite similar. Uh, if not, I don't know how much is the same. A lot of it is the same. There's this little, we're just you know moving the lines of white powder around. Can't say that word on YouTube. 
children may be watching. So this is a new sprue, as far as I'm aware, uh, for the uh, nacelles. Little uh, bits and pieces, bits and bobs there for the nacelles. And then we have, uh, I believe, some updated clear parts. <clears throat> Keep clearing your throat. It's like I'm a rapper from Queens. That's a very... Okay, here we go. Yeah, we got some cool... Got some cool uh, bits for the I get, chiller grills, whatever, nacelle grills, whatever we want to call them. Uh, they see, yeah, these are new parts. There's some different shaped parts. Some of these parts are kind of same, same as the older kit. I think that one, I don't know if we use that one in this kit. Um, there's instructions that we must obviously read. Now, I'll tell you one thing right now. You could tell this is a much newer uh, molding. This is so much more well molded and sturdy than the janky sprues of clear parts that you get with the Enterprise refit. That thing, the parts are falling off in the bag. It's it's just a mess. Uh, this this is, I believe, mostly. This should be the same. I don't think there's anything different here. Uh, come on, come on, come out of there. So, like, I'm the least annoying modeler to unbox this thing yet, I think. Or the most annoying, depending if you're a fan or not of the style. But there we go. We got, this is a nut. These are beautiful parts, and they're black plastic. Why couldn't they make the refit out of black plastic? I, really? Let me know in the comments. Why couldn't they just mold the 350 scale refit Enterprise out of black plastic? Wouldn't it make life so much easier for us? Like, seriously. I mean, so much easier. I don't know. It's an old... Ow! Ooh. This is a very, very sharp, sharp, precise mold. These corners, these will cut you if you're not careful. That's how nice it is. Like, this almost doesn't seem like it came from Polar Lights, except for that giant, massive, sloppy ejector pin mark. That's when you know when I point these things out. They're never sponsoring a build on the channel, but that's okay. Their model kits aren't too expensive. These are affordable kits, ish. Affordable is a very relative term in the eye of the wallet holder. Um, big, big, big sprues. Massive. Oh, my garbage can's already full, and I'm running out of room for bags. All right, let's... Ah! Failure. Jesus. Ian, get your... You know, we thought we were prepared. We cleared off the workbench. Um, this... Let's just see. Let's just give this... Let's just give this the sniff test. And... Somewhere... Somewhere out there, Ian can fit together a model... All right, well, okay, we can't rush the dry fitting. Okay, this doesn't close up. This has some stuff in the back. But up front, if we want to see, that's pretty damn toy. Like, that fits together well. And, and, come on, don't break any, don't break any locator pins yet. Um... They're, they're tapered angles in the parts so that you shouldn't get, shouldn't, operative term, you shouldn't get light leaks um, by default. Okay, one of these things. We'll just, all right. I, I don't even know anymore. Uh, stupid plastic base. We don't care. Put her over there. And the rest of these parts, I believe... Are mostly all the same. I'm not gonna go. Oh my God! There's not that many sprues in here. Okay. Yeah, well, what the hell? Um, we're definitely building this one. So I'm gonna take these out of the bags. Wow. I, honestly, this is really nice. These are these are. I mean, there's some flash, obviously there, but and there's a little flash on this part here. But it's not nearly as flashy as the, the refit. 
it's it's really nice. It's a nice matte finish on the outside. It's it's glossy on the inside where it really doesn't matter. Um, man, those parts are nice. Some really crisp detail there. Look at that. That almost looks like a Shapeways 3D printed bit right there. Quite nice, crisp, nice details. I, I got to say, this is one of the more impressive uh, Polar Lights... This is the most impressive Polar Lights kit I've unpacked. I'll be honest. It, it's a, the, the only other one I have to compare it to is the refit. And that thing is, uh, uh, you know, less than perfect. We're all, we're all in that boat, you know. You know what I'm talking about. There we go. I don't know if the Polar Lights, I, Polar Lights reps I met at Wonderfest. I don't know. They didn't seem to have quite the funny bone I was hoping for. Look at that. That is very nice. Those are those are those are damn nice parts. Those are some lovely, lovely sprues. And let's see what we have here. There's new parts here for sure, because we've got nacelles. Okay. Now I'm assuming this entire parts tree is pretty much new yeah i think the engine deck in the back the impulse deck is different um these have some very nice detail in there lots of greeblies and pipes and stuff and then there's the money shot that's what we're all buying this kit for i think for the most part is those star trek 6 chronos 1 nacelles right there oh they're very nice there's a lot of parts that go on here. Oh man, this is what it's all. This is this is why you buy this model, because the, there's there's nothing wrong with the Katinga kit. It's mostly the same, pretty much, same kit. Um, we've got some photo etch bits in here. We'll just leave them in there. Um, we've got some pimptastic decals here. I mean, this is like Dr. Dre's six four. Of uh, of Klingon battle cruisers, this thing's like, yeah, this is like this is like a chulo pimped uh, six four Impala rolling down Compton. Look at, jeez, those are insane. Those are cray cray. Very nice. I don't know how many of those I'm gonna use. And there's uh there's your standard color water slide decals, bunch of little itty bitty ones there, and then these. Quite nice. I like. I like a lot. Um, I'll put those right back. You know what? Let's get those right back into their uh, into their baggie to protect them from me, mostly. Instructions: um, Not polar light strong suit. Even on a fairly recent mold. Yeah. To me, they are not. Okay. Enough said. And let's uh, carefully put these back in their home. I think. Putting this down, facing down. Is that where we get the clearance, Clarence? Maybe over here. There we go. And then put that there and put that there. Okay, I think that's, oh, wait, the pole was in the box and the pole is hollow. So that's good. Um, hmm, yeah, it'll fit-ish enough. I, I'd have to watch the video to figure out how to put this thing back in the package. There we go, let's get you out of the way. And, Bring in your co-star. Now, I'm doing the Tenet Controls uh, light kit on the refit, and I'm sure I could easily, I know Tenet Controls has a Katinga light kit, and I know we could probably easily add um, uh, warp grills to it, but I'm giving this a whirl. The Tenet Controls, I'd go crazy. I'd want to add a full sound package. I'd spend a lot more money. I'm trying to 
keep this somewhat reasonably budgeted. Um, either way, a lot of LEDs, a bunch of these square rectangular green blocky LEDs uh, for for the, uh, the warp grills. That's kind of cool. We could also get some uh, green strip light LED if we really wanted to. And I have plenty of spare JST connectors uh, as well. We got our little brain board and our battery box. We'll probably hook this thing up to external power. Um, at least optionally have external power available. So we'll probably run a, a wire and something out of there. And then we got some red tinted plastic to replace some of our regular cure parts. This is the same as the light kit for the Katenga. And similar to the Katenga, we have some uh, some photo etch. Not, well, it's not the bridge, but you know, for the front, the front spoon head area. And some obviously slightly vague instructions to go along with those. And there we go. That is it for the Katenga. And bring your model to life with authentic lighting. Okay, fair enough. Quite nice. It's going to look great. Uh, it's going to be a little more of a simple build than the Big E, the Enterprise refit. Not nearly as involved. I got so much glare from my overheads. It's there's there. It's it's your damned if you do, your damned if you don't. You either have the light and it glares everywhere, or you don't have the light and people can't see, or you spend ten thousand dollars on professional lighting, which I definitely don't have pro money pro lighting money for just yet either way awesome kit uh let me know what you think in the comments uh like subscribe comment anyway hell you know if i screwed something up or i'm just a moron or you have a tip for me on building this especially if you have a good tip for building this put it in the comments below and you'll earn yourself a sticker or maybe even one of the new coveted fridge magnets Ooh, baby I know people love free stickers, but uh, I don't know. Free fridge magnets, that's pretty badass, too. You can take it with you when you move. That's nice. The stickers, they don't come off so well once you put them on something. Either way, thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, I didn't have any of my props turned on. Oh, I feel so bad now. At least I have my Star Trek shock glasses here, even though it's TOS. Um, thanks for coming. Thanks for watching. Uh, I look forward to you all watching this build when it happens. Sooner or later. <laughs> The stash is strong with this one. Either way, have a nice night. Kapla. I'll see you next time. Peace out, everybody. Oh, it didn't stop on its own. Bye.